Hola, Jorge. Hey, Enrique. How are you? You look so great. Oh, thanks. I'm fine. And you? I'm doing well, thanks. And what was that so exciting you wanted to tell yes, me? Yes, I wanted to tell you about the last project we are working on called Fiona, as I think you may be interested in. Oh, yes. Tell me more. With Fiona, we are aiming to build a global platform for the development of what we call an artificial mind. Sounds really interesting. There are many people over the world working and researching in several fields related to the artificial intelligence, and they are very focused in a very specific field of expertise. We came up with the idea of creating a platform to turn all this knowledge and efforts into sparks to accelerate the process. Oh, what's a spark? A spark is a small functionality like TTS, face tricking system, or the appearance of the butter. You can think of a spark as a component or an element, but we like to call them sparks to create the metaphor of the whole community sparking together. <laughs> it's very cool. For example, there are people working on TTS or a speech recognition system, and when they test their development, they do it using a notepad or something similar. And we think that if they use a platform that is more interactive, human-like, this would improve the result. This interactive platform is quite expensive you have to build it specifically for conducting certain research. But if you use Fiona, you will have all this available as it lets you to focus in your very specific field of expertise. At the same time, you will be using the work of the rest of the community. We have defined three environments in Fiona. The first environment is the Spark link, where the sparks can be uploaded and combined. The second environment is the Spark store, where you can buy or get for free sparks. You can set a price for your spark or give it away for free. The third and last environment is the Spark render, where ready to use avatar are hosted. Is this too confusing? Uh, please give me an example. Imagine American Airlines wants to provide information about their flight using an avatar. They hire a consultancy firm like Accenture to carry out this project. Accenture can use Fiona to create this avatar buying sparks and creating its own spark with the knowledge needed about the flight. When the project is finished and the customer is happy with the result, the avatar is taken into the production, which is the last environment. American Airlines should be paying for the service provided by the avatar, which is hosted in our servers. Also, if Accenture has bought your spark to create American Airlines avatar, there will be ongoing royalties for you for using this spark. It's clear now. It sounds really good. And when will it start? We are launching a beta version in a few weeks. We are trying to attract people to test the platform, creating sparks, combining them to create avatars, and provide feedback. Next phase is planned for September, when the store will be ready. We are attracting big companies for playing the role of integrators in this phase. Finally, by June 2013, we shall have the final release with real customer into the production environment. That sounds so exciting. Please, Rieke, if you have any question at any moment, I am here to help you. Thanks, Rache. It's been a pleasure to talk to you, Rieke. Yeah, talk to you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Fiona, sparking together.